is Apple could borrow $25 billion at 1% or 3% interest, buy Bitcoin that yields 200% interest. And it's the, what, what would you say to Tim Cook? You would say, Tim, if you can buy a $100 billion company that's growing 100% a year and is profitable, you should do that. Right. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a hundred billion, you know, you can buy a hundred billion dollars worth of Bitcoin or, or 10 or 20 or 30 billion worth of Bitcoin. It's growing 600% this year, but 200% a year on average. So my message to any company, whether it's Microsoft or Amazon or Apple or Tesla is <clears throat> Why don't you take the asset that you can get a lot of? You can go borrow $20 billion worth of capital at 3% interest. And why don't you go do an accretive acquisition? And an accretive acquisition is something growing 100 or 200% a year. By the way, what's better for Apple to buy Disney or for Apple to buy Bitcoin? Because if you buy Disney, you're buying 100 million moving parts and a lot of complexity and a lot of risk and a lot of competition. If you buy Bitcoin, your treasurer just had to go buy Bitcoin. There is no competition. There is no employee base, right? There is no, the moving parts have all been worked out for a decade. They're not changing. So it, it's a much better balance sheet idea than what's being laid on the table for most CFOs or most CEOs right now. So I'm going to ask this question. I'm, I'm, there's, a, there's a question here, and I think you're going to follow me. There's a great movie, Jaws. There's a scene uh, when the mayor, they're at the beach, and he's talking to Brody, and he says, if you yell barracuda on the, on the beach, you know, people look around, not a big deal. You yell shark and you have a panic on the 4th of July. Now, here's my question. Micro strategies, in some ways, was the Barracuda. You went down this path, and you know, people looked at it, but it didn't create a, a panic or a stir. If Apple were to do exactly what you did at micro strategies, would that be the panic on the 4th of July? Would, that, would every single bell and whistle go off at every level of government uh, and in every boardroom. And so with that said, does that, do you think they're sort of inhibited? By, do you think they're sort of, uh, do you think they're reticent to do it based on th that premise alone? You know, uh, when I tweeted at Elon Musk, I said something and I really meant exactly what I said, right? And most people took a tongue in cheek, but I was very serious about it. I said, you want to do your shareholders a hundred billion dollar favor, convert your $20 billion balance sheet from cash to Bitcoin. And then all the, you know, the S and P 500 companies will have to follow you and it will become a trillion dollar favor to your shareholders. And what I really meant was you buy 10 billion in Bitcoin, you're going to double it. You can go borrow 10 billion in convertible debt. You're going to double it again. You're going to generate $40 billion of investment income on a $40 billion revenue company. Your stock is going to move north and then everybody's going to realize, holy crap, mm -hmm. this is safe. And, and here's what you're really doing. If you do that, uh, you're basically pointing out that the, the price discovery has disappeared from the bond market and the treasury, the treasury strategy of holding bonds should be replaced with a treasury hold strategy of holding Bitcoin. And so it just takes one mega company with conviction to do it, you know, um, you know, and, and you can, at our size, when it was 200 billion in market cap and we leaned on it with a billion to two billion, <clears throat> we, could, we could drive a certain amount. But now at a, billion, at a trillion dollars in market cap, you lean on it at about the $10 billion to $20 billion level. And you could do that now. And that's what would catapult Bitcoin to be a $5 trillion asset. Mm -hmm. And you could say, oh, this is frightening. Not really frightening. Gold is 10 trillion. Right. When when Bitcoin is 50 trillion, then you will say it's a lot better than gold. I mean, how much more valuable is Google Maps than Ram McNally Maps? And how much more valuable is Apple digital photos than Kodak? Right. It's, it's very reasonable for digital gold to be 10 at 5x to 10x more valuable than gold. 
And I think that guy, it's just out there waiting for someone with conviction